Hey everybody, what's up? It's Michael Termini with The Game House, and today I am joined by Silly Shots at Scouting Grounds 2021. Uh, so first things first, you got, you are on Team Ocean, so how are you guys doing so far? Team Ocean? Uh, so far it's been a part of, pretty much a, uh, a real up and down journey. Uh, we started off in scrims, sort of uh, not having the uh, same sort of direction in game, but uh, after a few a few matches, we've uh, come together and we're, we're playing really well. So talking about League, though, uh, you're a relatively fresh face in the scene. So what got you to this point? Like, tell me a little bit about your League of Legends, uh, I guess, journey or experience. Sure. Um, I've actually been challenger for quite a while. Just about the end of Season 7 is when I first hit it. Uh, I never pursued a pro League career. I instead just went to a university which is, you know, ultimately something I somewhat regret because uh, I do believe I had the skill level back then as well. But uh, I've come around and come to pursue my passion and luckily was able to qualify for scouting grounds. So what made you change your mind there? What was the, uh, the, the figurative switch? Uh, just sort of going through uh, life experiences and just realizing that pursuing league was at least the passion I wanted to explore. Was there a, a league team at your college? Uh, yes, but I, I didn't play collegiate. It was uh, a bit too time consuming with other stuff. You're telling me your school had a challenger, <laughs> a challenger juggler. Yep. You were just sitting there. That's funny. Yep. Wasted talent. <laughs> unlucky, man. Unlucky. So what was your reaction when you got uh, sent the invite to this event? Um, well, there was a bit of a, I don't know, I, I guess you'd call it a little scandal. Um, I was supposed to be invited, but someone was invited in, uh, like took my spot essentially, uh, by accident. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I did end up getting the invite like a couple of days before the event. So, uh, I was just uh, doing all I could to get prepared. But I, at the same time, I was really excited to showcase what I got. So what were you doing prepping for this event? Just playing a bunch of solo queues, scouting people, uh, you know, what was your, what was your game plan? Um, I was also watching a lot of VODs, just trying to know how to play uh, at a higher level, at a team level, because I, I don't have any competitive experience, and I knew that was a, sort of a disadvantage coming in. But um, yeah, I think uh, the, the preparation helped a lot, and uh, things are coming together now. Well, speaking to that, as you mentioned, the lack of team experience. So what's been like the biggest thing for you to like overcome? Is it you know, the comms, is it just, you know, working how your team wants to play, like top side, bot side, you know, what is the biggest thing that's been the obstacle for you um, in scouting ground so far? Sure. Um, pace of the game. I play a lot of uh, solo queue, which is just sort of, you know, aggressive and like not a lot of thoughtfulness is put into <laughs> to decisions. That's but, one way uh, to say it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, in competitive though, um, everything is really uh, calculated, and uh, if you're not playing the right way, you will get uh, exploited. And um, so, yeah, you just have to be conscious of of every decision you make. So, have comms been an issue at all, or you, you just been uh, knocking them out of the park? Um, I mean, ultimately, I, I could be more vocal, but uh, yeah, I think it, it's coming well. It's coming along well. So jungle is like one of the, the biggest like positions where that kind of stuff matters. So I just think that's pretty interesting that you're, you know, doing quite well with that. So what are you looking to get out of this event, all things considered? I uh, definitely want to sign with an academy team. Um, I feel like I have the most raw talent out of all junglers. Uh, I can play pretty much anything mechanical, Nidalee, Kindred, uh, and other, other stuff, other mechanical champions as well. I think one one thing I need to improve on is just uh, getting the uh, just always being on top of the meta and having the meta champions on as well. But um, ultimately, yeah, signing with an academy team for 2022. How has uh, talking with all the coaches at this event been for you as someone who's never been on a team before? Has that been a bit overwhelming, or is that something that you've been you know very excited to do? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, you know, a lot of different insight. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, things I didn't know, as well as um, in game and out of game, to be honest. But more so in game, uh, just how they how they're able to slow down the game and really uh, show you what mistakes you're making and what you can improve on. 
So you've taken a lot out of these uh, coaching sessions, I presume? Uh, yeah, for sure. Pretty much had one every day <laughs> of the event. That's nice. That's nice. So what about the uh, the format change of Scouting Grounds? It's been a little bit interesting this year. Obviously, the event was originally planned to be all in person, out in LA. Everyone would get flown in. You'd see all the coaches. Everyone would be there. But now it's just another quarantine event uh, <laughs> where it's all online. So how has that been for you, especially the uh, the no draft aspect of it? Has it bothered you at all or not at all? Um, not going to lie, the draft was something I was looking forward to. But um, I think it uh, it being online, uh, I don't know. I think I'm pretty neutral on, on it altogether, all things considered. Um, I guess I, I might have been uh, less comfortable just being in a new environment, so I guess that might be a plus. But um, yeah, I would say I'm pretty neutral about the whole situation. All right, final question here, because um, we honestly knocked out most of them. But what's your favorite Pokemon and why? Uh, never watched Pokemon. Oh my goodness, I got a That's heretic. That's a bad answer. <laughs> <laughs> my my brother was into it, but I uh, I don't know. I just it just skipped me, I guess. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Well, thank you for the talk, silly shots. It's been uh fun, you know, just understanding your perspective because obviously you have quite a unique one at Scouting Grounds this year. But best of luck in the rest of the event and for all things Scouting Grounds, check out thegamehouse.com. Thank you.